Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment, I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop on below as well, I would be happy to make a video for you too, same as the over 100 videos now I made on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers. And some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out. And I would really appreciate it. And actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. I don't sell any courses. Uh, I don't have any membership or anything like that. Everything I do create, every content I do create, I do post it completely free on this channel. You just have to skip around ads and stuff, but that's the case for all videos on YouTube, I guess, right? So here I am again, back with another request, a requested video, which is how to change the announcement bar color on your Shopify store. In this video, I will show you how to do that by two ways. The first one, which is plain color, blue, red, green. And the second trick I will show you in this video is gradient color. So you will be able to add a gradient color to the announcement bar on your Shopify store. So yes, I will provide you with two codes, not just one. And they are both free, of course. <laughs> so as I said, I will provide you with two codes. The first one, which is the plain color. And the second one, which is gradient color. And I will show you how to change the gradient color, of course. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard here, and I have down team, which is the team where I do all the tricks, and which is the 15 version. The 15 version is the last one as of now, but below here, as you can see, I have every other free team installed, which is Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight, and Trade. And as I said, demonstration, I do it in down team, but I have these installed as well because each trick I do share on my channel, I do try it on each one of these. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Because as I said, I do try it behind the scenes on them as well. And I don't, I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people out. And that's not good, right? And even if it didn't work for you, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out and I will quickly reply to you with the info. It may take me a couple of hours, depends on the time zone and so on. But eventually, I will reply to you with the proper information you need to fix or do the thing you're trying to do. Besides announcement bar. Anything, drop me a comment as I said. So again, for the second time, let's just quit talking and let's just get to it. So let me show you the announcement bar. Because yesterday, which is my last video, I did post this video. Which is how to add the scrolling or the moving text on the announcement bar. Which is the marquee effect without using any apps or anything like that. And I did show you how to resize the title, I mean the text, sorry, and resize the bar as well to make it bigger or smaller or a little bit tight in the tag with the text and so on. All of that in a single video. So in this video, I will show you how to add the color to this announcement bar now with the moving text on it, as well as adding the gradient color with the moving text on it. I got you on every field, right? So no worries. We will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back Shopify dashboard. And after that, the next thing you're going to do is, as always, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. And the next thing you're going to do, because we need to find the file in here, instead of uh, looking at the folder, simply use the search bar top left corner and type in, again, I have to repeat this on each one of my videos because people will be like, I can't find this, I can't find this. Okay, okay, chill out. It's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css and rarely in some custom teams it will be custom.css. So either base.css or style.css or team.css or rarely custom.css. In my case, I know it's base.css. So first try base because it's the most used ones. So base, here we go. It's going to be base.css as you can see. Click on it. And make sure it's CSS file. It ends with .css. Then, next thing, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. Here we go. We are at the bottom of the page. And in here, we need to create an empty space. So we're going to paste in a code, obviously. So simply click front of the closing bracket. Hit enter. And we are completely new line. Then the next thing you're going to do is hire a developer so you can write the code for you. I'm joking. Scroll down the description box. You will see a link named as code. Simply click on it, 
and it will take you to this page right here or you're gonna see a very short call right two lines or three lines if you count this as a separate thing which is not anyway select the whole code in here make sure to select the dot as well as the closing bracket right click copy get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file and in here we have let me show you the black screen here so this is a color if you are familiar with my videos on YouTube, you will know this. This is a color. If I do like this, here we go. As you can see, this is a color. So simply play around with this until you get the color you want. Maybe let's just do, yeah, let's just keep it like that. Then copy it from here. Right click, copy, get back in here and replace the previous one with the new one, which is the color you want. Then click on the save button, couple of seconds. It save it, get back in here, reload the page, and here we go. A yellow announcement bar with the moving text on it, as you can see. And yeah, I didn't forget. I said I will show you how to add the gradient color, not just a plain color like this. Yes, I will do that. So no worries, I got you. And to do that, simply get back to the code editor and remove the previous code from here. As you can see, this one, simply remove it. Then again, hire a developer, blah, 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 scroll down the description box and you will see the second link called cold gradient, cold for gradient. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page. That's a beautiful page. Here we go. This one, this cold right here is the gradient color. So each one of these is a color. It's called RGB color. I think you are familiar with this. So not the one, the one is not a color, just the first uh, like three combinations of, of numbers I don't know huh? English is my native language I apologize so these ones are color and again this one are color and again this ones are color so gradient color is a combination of three colors so it it, it mashes them together so it mixes them together so you're gonna be like a gradient color in order to get that uh, simply uh, change these and to change these with the same location we changed the previous one instead of copying these copy this one rgb it says here rgb copy this one and replace it with the previous one i'm gonna keep it the same as this one then select the whole code right click and copy then get back base.css or team.css or style.css or <laughs> whatever paste it here then click on save button couple of seconds okay get back reload the page here we go a gradient color as you can see and here is the text is still passing on on the announcement bar and this is the first color the second color the third color which is the calls i did explain right here as you can see and that was easy right that's how you change the announcement bar color for plain color or gradient color without using any apps by using a very simple code. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.